this demo, we're going to be looking at how ice melts in different solutions and how the rates differ depending on what solution that the ice does go into. So right here we have a solution of just pure water. And over here we have another solution of pure water, but we're going to add table salt to it or sodium chloride. So I'm going to add this real quick. Then we gotta stir this to make sure that all the salt goes into the solution. And after I'm done stirring, we wanna make sure that the solution stops moving around so that there's no interference of mechanical movement. So now the solution has stopped stirring and we can add the ice cubes. So I'm just going to take these two ice cubes and add them at the same time. Okay, so about after seven minutes, we look at the solutions, the one with the water and the ice cube, the ice cube's already melted. But what's surprising is that this solution with the sodium chloride, the ice cube's still there. There's still quite a lot of it left. And the reason behind this is that when you add sodium chloride to water, the density of sodium chloride is greater than water, so it gets below it, but it keeps the cold water up by the ice cube, which keeps the ice cube, ice cube from melting quicker, which is why you see the difference in the melting times. 